Hey guys, welcome to another Unity 5 tutorial, and this is going to talk about and show you how to use emissive textures within Unity 5. Now, emissive textures have slightly changed because they work with the global illumination, and why this is good is if you've ever seen an emissive object before, an emissive object is just an object or a texture that almost illuminates itself. So if you've ever seen an exit sign um, on a door, or something in real life, um, you'll see it glowing in green. Now to simulate that in Unity 4, you'd often have to put a light over it and simulate that with a sort of greenish um, color. But now in Unity um, 5, it comes built in with its own shader and its own emissive properties. Now what we want to do is I will create a new material to show you how to do this. So what we'll do is create a new um, material and I'll call this emissive underscore yellow for instance so now if we go to the inspector and we have a look at that it's just on the standard shader that comes with unity 5 now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the albedo or just the standard diffuse to a yellow and then what I'm going to do is on the emissive you can set a map here so we've got the emissive um, or emission slot down here if we increase the emission, uh, emission value what I'll say is to about three this is just to show the example and what I'll do is I'll also copy that um, color there roughly because I could copy the exact uh, IGB values there but for the sake of this I've got it here now um, your emissive value is as set to three and the global illumination is real time now if I add this emissive um, color to my object itself you'll notice that it was already pre-computed with the baking but if I pull this away from the wall a little bit because it's a little bit bright it will recompute the GUI and you'll notice that the object will then emit um, light or um, its emission from itself with the uh, Unity 5 shader itself so which is really good for as I said creating that exit sign or any materials that actually glow and you want to that more realistic effect that if something glows it's gonna apply the color evenly around the space that you've got on the floor if it wasn't such a, a deep red um, because these walls are whitish gray you can see it on this object here on this wall back here and the two walls um, um, corresponding now you can sort of see the light down at the bottom but you can see that it casts its own emission really easily it's quite simple yeah as I said you can add your own emission map to that side you can obviously increase the size of the emission depending on but because we've already baked the um, real time we can decrease it and increase it as we need to but for the sake of this this is just a really simple way to show you how to work simply with the emissive um, material and create an effect that you might be looking for Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.